Now we are in the factory in the town of Grodzisk Mazowiecki near Warsaw, where heat pumps are manufactured. The basic principle of the heat pump is based on three cycles. The glycol mixture travels via this pipe to the circulating pump and then it gets to an exchanger called the evaporator. In the evaporator the glycol mixture, which is already warm, having a temperature of around 4 degrees of Celsius, heats the refrigerant which through those pipes and gases form enters the compressor. The compressor greatly increases the temperature and pressure of the refrigerant. On the leaving the compressor the temperature of the refrigerant is from 60 to 90 degrees of centigrade. The high temperature refrigerant now enters the second stage heat exchanger known as a condenser where it gives up its heat to the radiators under floor heating or domestic hot water. The key elements for a heat pump. Here we can see a complete ensemble heat pump. Those are heat exchangers. This is the compressor, of course the circulating pumps. A filter which maintains the quality of the refrigerant. And the expansion valve which regulates the pressure and the temperature of the refrigerant in order to maintain the constant cycle. This is why we often call it the heart of the heat pump. The next very important process which guarantees the quality of the heat pump is the leak test. After the inspection, when the tests have been passed, we dry, remove humidity and create a vacuum in a future refrigerant circuit. You can see the operator fill the system with an appropriate type of the refrigerant. The refrigerant is to be hermetically sealed so that it cannot escape to the atmosphere. This tank holds domestic hot water. It's a typical tank we use and contains 180 liters. Tanks that we use for a heat pumps are made of stainless steel. Generally speaking, the life cycle of our pumps is more than 20 years. The functional test is the main element in examining of the heat pump. During such a test, we adjust each parameter of the pump and make sure that all components used here meet quality and energy saving requirements. In the pump, despite the fact that it generates heat, the majority of the processes operate at temperature close to or below zero degrees of Celsius. And that is why one of the factors we have to eliminate is the vapor condensation effect on the pipes. As regards the automatic control device, uh, it's clear that it's steering element here. There is also a soft start and contactor which protect the compressor's electrical circuit from damage. When the whole manufacturing process is over, those pipes are, as you can see here, put away to the dispatch area, where they are, depending on the period of time, sent to the main distribution center in Sweden.